Norm Rosen from RV Lifestyle Magazine. I'm at the beautiful new location for outdoor travel, and this is in Beamsville, which actually is like a suburb of St. Catharines, uh, just off the QEW, oh, about three quarters of an hour away from Toronto, on the way to beautiful Niagara Falls. I'm with Jeff Johnstone, who is the specialist <coughs> for this beautiful line of grand design transcend travel trailers i'm going to hand the microphone socially distanced over to jeff and jeff if you would be kind enough to guide us through on a tour of this beautiful travel trailer norm it'd be my pleasure thank you very much hey everybody welcome back again to outdoor travel and as norm mentioned to our new dealership in beamsville this is a f an amazing facility we've got a great inventory of product great choices for everybody and of course still carrying the grand design product as we have for years. Um, so today we're in the uh, Transcend 265 bunkhouse model, one of our most popular bunkhouse models by Grand Design. And uh, I'll start uh, talking a little bit about in the kitchen, as you can see, all solid wood cabinetry, beautifully done, hidden hinges, residential hardware, I mean, great, great quality. These are all built by Mennonites, they're all built by hand, and the quality is just superior. You have a uh, microwave, a three burner cooktop, and an oven. A beautiful, large, huge pot drawer down in the bottom as well. Again, lots of cabinets and cupboard space around. You have good lighting in here as well, too. We've got some blinds closed just for the camera, but lots of airflow with windows that open up. And then work your way towards the back. You have your back entrance door. You have your bunkhouse at the back as well with some great storage lighting and, uh, sorry, windows that also open up for fresh air. And uh, you have windows on this side. Um, and the gentlemen are sitting on a couch, but also turns into a bed as well, too. So you have an extra sleeping area. You have storage down below. You have this beautiful, large horseshoe-shaped dinette, which also turns into a double bed with storage underneath it. And again, all solid wood cabinetry. Uh, moving up front, you have the Furion 10 cubic foot fridge. One of the things Grand Design has done during COVID and the uh, challenges with uh, components from their, uh, from their partners is to always find alternatives. So what they've done now is provided you with a much larger Furion fridge, 10 cubic foot. It's a 12 volt fridge, but what they've also done is put a solar panel on the roof for you. So you have a nice little power backup as well, in addition to the battery on the front. Moving forward from there, you have a, um, a mid bunk uh, washroom uh, with pocket doors for privacy because in the bedroom you also have an access door for outside as well too. So if you do have guests or the kids are in here and they're tired and they're in bed, you can still come in and uh, use the washroom and also the uh, the bedroom up front. In the bedroom up front, you have a queen size bed, walk around bed on all three sides. You have lots of USB ports, power on each side of the bed, and you've also got wardrobe space in there for your clothing as well too. So beautiful, beautiful design, really nice cabinetry, great colors, great storage space, and a space for everybody, space for the kids and also space for the adults. Uh, the other thing I should mention to you that is really unique for Grand Design, they do an amazing job. Of course, you have ducted AC, which is all your white vents in the attic, but their heat vents are not in the floors. So you're not going to step on them, break them, get them full of dirt and debris. All the heat vents are in the walls, which is really great. So you have nice airflow, and nice air movement. So we've kind of changed uh, the angle a little bit so that I can show you some of the kitchen area. As I mentioned before, you have beautiful wood, solid wood cabinetry, little smoke glass up here, so it gives you a nice, uh, nice fit and finish level. You have a full microwave up top. You have a three burner cooktop down below, which is uh, really nice. And you also, of course, have your propane oven, uh, which is a good size as well too and of course a full pot drawer down below lots of great storage underneath the sink and then over here we've got uh, four we've got two cabinets and then two pull out drawers you've got lots of storage up top and of course you have a large TV that is on an arm and bracket so that you can swing it around or the kids can see it from the bunk as well too so now that we've changed positions and I'm standing at the back of the of the RV, uh, we can have a look at the bunk in the sleeping area. So we have double sized bunks, double over double, uh, which is great. So depending on the age and size of your children, you can actually put four kids here very simply. You also, as I mentioned earlier, have a couch, which I will demonstrate how it uh, quickly turns into a bed. Voila. And then back up to a couch. And you'll also notice down below here the storage as well too, right underneath. 
So you've got storage on each side of it as well too. So again, looking at the back, you've got windows on the upper bunk, windows on the lower bunk, which also open for fresh air, and you also have windows over here. The uh, other thing I should mention, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it, and that is grand design, the quality and the build. So you have R40 in the roof, you have R40 in the front cab. This is built for all four seasons and full-time living. They offer 18-year warranty on the roof, eight years on the floor, two and three year for all of your components, three year structural, three, uh, five years on your tires, five years on your axles, and five years on your fiberglass and decals on the outside as well too. So fully covered, fully protected, no questions asked. I should also mention when you come in the door, your control panel is right here as well too. Uh, the convenience center, so you can check your gray water, fresh water, black water tanks. Uh, you also have your slide out, your uh, stereo is here. You do have surround sound on the inside of the unit, uh, power awning on the patio. You have outside speakers and LED lighting on your patio as well, quick connect for your gas barbecue, and power tongue jack on the front. So we are in this beautiful bathroom, uh, two pocket doors, which is great. So you have one across the front, and then you have one across the master bedroom as well too. So to my right, you have lots of nice storage down below, uh, full sink, nice large medicine cabinet up top, and of course storage down below as well too. Uh, you've got a towel rack over here, so again, really great use of this space on the side. So to continue uh, in the bathroom, you of course have a nice skylight, uh, or sorry, you have a fan above you and a skylight in the shower as well. You have a one-piece fiberglass insert in the shower, which is really great. And one thing that I'm often asked is about this shower door, and I'm, I'm going to demonstrate this to you. So beautiful nice shower door, but I'm often asked, Jeff, it's really flimsy. What's that all about? And are my children going to fall through it? One of the worst things in an RV is moisture. And the thing that's really cool about this shower is once you retract it, it squeegees all the water off the door, so it's not an issue. And we, I can tell you that we have not replaced any of these shower doors. They're very strong, they're very durable, but they serve a really, really great purpose. And when I learned that from the factory, I went, oh, I, that's something I've got to communicate to people. So it squeegees that water off so you don't have humidity in your washroom as well. So we're now in the master bedroom. Um, I'll mention you have a nice pocket door for privacy, which is really great. Um, you do have the ability, you've got a nice air conditioning vent in here as well. Uh, you've also got all the 12 volt light, um, uh, lights, LED lights. You do have a backer for an extra TV as well. So if you do want to put a TV in the bedroom, it's all prepped for that. Full queen size residential queen bed. Um, a lot of people we ask the, ask the question, is it an RV style or is it a full residential? These are residential queen size beds. On each side of the bed, you have great wardrobe space, lots of hang up, really, really deep as well too. So you can put a lot of clothing in there. You've got storage down below. You've also got storage up top as well too. You have power outlets on each side of the bed and you also have USB ports. So if you want to charge up a cell phone, a tablet, work on your tablet, you can do that as well too. And you do have USB ports throughout the RV as well. So Jeff, this new outdoor travel facility is beautiful. Uh, how many square feet do you have? How many service bays? We are huge. So where we came from, we had um, about six and a half acres. We yes. have 13 acres here. Really? 14 service bays. We had three at the other dealership. Yes. So, I mean, we are so grateful. The Whiting family have done an amazing job mm -hmm. um, building, constructing, all the fit and finish level of the building. So, yes. I mean, everybody's thrilled to be here. It, it's, it's great for the customer. We've had a really, really positive feedback from people, and they just enjoy their experience coming in is, is really a fabulous one. Yeah, and for the people who are used to seeing you at the old location, essentially on the harbor at, yeah. uh, at uh, Burlington, uh, you're just another 15 or 20 minutes down the QEW. Yeah, absolutely. And easy, easy to get to here, even easier than it was to get to the other location. Absolutely. Very easy to get on, get off at Ontario Street in Beamsville. Um, in in uh, the bottom of the Burlington Skyway Bridge, it was a little more problematic. Yes. Uh, but here we are, uh, as you said, 15 minutes from Hamilton. We're probably five minutes from St. Catharines. Mm -hmm. um, Niagara Falls, we're maybe 20 minutes away. So we're really central to everybody in the, in the yes. southwestern Ontario region, the Golden Horseshoe. Yes, and you draw you draw customers from hundreds of kilometers away. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the community is, is amazing. Um, I actually moved my family from Burlington to Vineland, mm -hmm. so I uh, I just drive through the vineyards to get home, and it's uh, yeah. it's very very difficult traffic wise. Oh, I, I, I'm sure. Um, 
Tell me about the exterior features of this particular Transcend model. I'll start off with weight. Um, the dry weight on this is about 6,300 pounds, so half ton towable. Um, on the outside you have, it's prepped for a backup camera, so if you feel more comfortable towing, you can put a camera on the back. You've got great storage at the back underneath that bunk as well too. Um, working way around the side, you have a quick connect for your gas barbecue, power awning outside, LED lighting, um, power tongue jack on the front. Um, I mean, they've just done a fabulous job. You've got black tank flush, um, and earlier I talked about the warranty and the construction of it. These guys just do a fabulous job. They do an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Now, we're towing this today with the Cadillac Escalade. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a beautiful combo. Yes. Uh, what would uh, the majority of the customers use to tow this? They will use actually anything from what you're towing with, with an SUV, to a half-ton pickup truck, a Ford F-150, a Dodge Ram, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is with the dry weight and a good hitch system, and I'm talking about sway control and weight distribution, you will have no issues whatsoever. The nice thing about the sway control is that the tow vehicle and the travel trailer move together as one down the road, yes. eliminating the white knuckling if that transport truck passes you. And the uh, weight distribution is great because it takes all the pressure off the pin and we'll transfer the weight to the back axle of the travel trailer and our technicians will set the brake controller for the customer as well too so that everything is working harmoniously and, um, and, and rolling down the road nice and smoothly as it should. Excellent. Now, in this era of uh, <clears throat> energy, uh, energy conscious uh, consumers, uh, this vehicle comes with a factory installed solar panel. It does. And this would be used, I would imagine, to trickle charge the onboard batteries uh, on a normal overcast to sunny day. Uh, would that give you enough 12-volt uh, battery power to go through the night? With, uh, with having the solar panel on the roof, the primary reason for that was because they had to go to a 12-volt fridge. They couldn't get dual mm -hmm. fridges anymore. So that will keep the fridge running while your battery connected to your truck and you're going down the road you're charging that battery as well too. Yes. And of course with it all being uh, LED lighting the draw on energy is low. You've got 12 volt TVs the draw energy is low as well too. For someone that is interested in dry camping um, or boondocking as some people refer to it as with your batteries in here and your solar panel you can go a couple of days four or five days easily without having to worry about losing power. I would not recommend running air conditioner and, and uh, microwave at the same time. Yes, because they, they'll draw the They'll draw the power. power. Yep, but absolutely four or five days boondocking or dry camping, you'll have no issues whatsoever. Excellent. Now, bottom line, uh, what is the manufacturer suggested selling price of this particular Transcend vehicle? The manufacturer suggested selling price is 43.9, and here at Outdoor Travel, our sale price is 34.9. And that's Canadian dollars. That's Canadian dollars. Now, for uh, all of our viewers around the world and uh, throughout North America, uh, of course, the Canadian dollar, as we sit today, is worth just over 80 cents U.S. Correct, yes. So if you are uh, watching this video uh, from the United States, uh, of course, you would get in touch with your local grand design dealer. Uh, if you are uh, in Canada, of course, you would give Jeff a call uh, here at Outdoor Travel uh, or go on the Grand Design website and uh, find a dealer based upon your particular area in the country. There's also actually another really great thing for consumers, and there are user forums available for people that are on social media and Facebook. There are user forums driven by consumers. Grand Design has nothing to do with it. And it's consumers talking to consumers about their experience with the Grand Design product. So if you're new to the Grand Design family and you want to learn more, these user forums are also a great opportunity to talk to other people about their experience as well. Oh, yes. We love the user forums because when we do a road test on one of the Grand Design products, they, the user forums share the link 
to our videos nice. and to the the nice. digital editions of the magazines, nice. and it substantially increases our audience. Well, I also share your videos. I do a thing here at Outdoor Travel called What's New in RVs, and mm -hmm. I talk about new products. And of course, we did the Solitude with you a couple of years yes. ago as well too, yes. which was great. So there's really uh, an interconnection between all of those feeds for people as well too. So it's it's a great opportunity. Well, yes, and all of that information is available to the audience completely free of charge. Yeah, absolutely, and no obligation of course and uh, nothing to sign in on although if you want to read the digital editions of the RV lifestyle magazine uh, send me an email and uh, I will in a return email uh, send you the password so you can have free access to the digital edition of the magazine okay. and the the issue that will feature this particular vehicle uh, is going to be one of our summer 2021 issues and uh, that will be uh, well that will be up on the uh, magazines page on the rvlifemag.com site about the same time as the uh, the print issue of the magazine is rolling off the press that's great excellent you know so that will be out there and uh, Thank you very much, Jeff. It's a My pleasure. pleasure. Thank you for inviting me in again, Norm. It's always great to see you. I, we catch each other at the shows and around oh, yes. every couple of years, so it's nice to catch up. So thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you for being our, our closest local grand design dealer. Cheers. And as usual, it is always a pleasure to come visit our friends at Outdoor Travel and to take a look at some of the nicest RVs on the road the floor plans in these grand designs, the way that they present and the livability of these trailers is uh, certainly among the finest in the industry. Absolutely. I agree. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.